Rua turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's eight, Texas five. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th consecutive win. And oh, baby, did they earn it for going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That's a comfort, too. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. High fly ball. Well tagged this time. And Junior Gore. To the track, the wall makes the leap and makes the Now from City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. It's Interleague Baseball on MLB Network. Jacob DeGrom will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, what I like about him is he knows how to pitch. He gives his team a chance to win every time. Last outing was a perfect example. He gave up two runs, and he still stuck around long enough to get the W. He's going to keep him in the game. I look for that type of performance in this game as well. Stepping in, Jacoby Ellsbury. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first, and Ellsbury's a ground down victim to open up the ball game. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. How do they go about taking down their big rival, Harold? Well, Matt, they're not going to run. I mean, they don't put a lot of pressure on you trying to steal bases. They'll take the extra base if they need to, but they don't run much. They're a team that sits there. They're going to be a lot base-to-base, -base, rely a lot on the power. This is a total contrast to what we've been seeing throughout the league the last couple of years. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Bases are empty, one man out. Off speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger, two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's third. favor, but Catherine. it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Now in the box Gary Sanchez. He's not among the league leaders in home runs but his total does top this ball club. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Cabrera's up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Yankees turned away early. Mets coming to bat. It's the Subway Series on MLB Network. Masahiro Tanaka is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, HR? Well this is going to be a challenge for him because it's a road game and he hasn't pitched well on the road at all. The numbers speak for themselves so he's got to figure something out whether it's concentration whether it's focus or whatever it might be but he's got to turn around that trend to give his team a chance to really finish the season out strong. Now the pitch. Dribbled back toward the mound. And he set down one away. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. 
What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. Gone into the upper tank. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 11 for him on the season. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. He didn't have to supply a whole lot of power with that one. He catches the fastball, and all he had to do is just really make a nice swing, which he did right there. And that ball just did not stop carrying. Ready now, Michael Conforto. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. The pitch. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Hey, one thing's clear. He's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's Batting ball point. four. Well, the reason right power fielder. hitters generally draw more yeah. walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Ready with two balls and a strike. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Well, Ferg really does call a solid game back there. He does reward a pitcher for good location at times, but his reviews tend to be very good most of the time. Set to deal on two and two. In the dirt here. He's set. Here's the three and two. High in the air out to center field. And Ellsbury will put this one away for route number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting fifth. It is Curtis Granderson. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's hitless in six tries. Two out with the man at first. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, Harold, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matt, I mean, nobody likes to lose game one of the road trip, but you go on the road thinking, hey, if we can play 500 for the full road trip, we're in good standing. So right now, you're in game two of the road trip, and you know what? If you win today, you're what? 500. So you're actually on goal. That's why this game is a big one for you to be on point. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. In there, two and two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. 
And there's one well above the zone for a ball. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Carter is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Chris Carter now. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here's the pitch on two and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Here's Starlin Castro in previous duels with DeGrom, three for ten. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. So a good job of going the other way here as he checks in with the one out double. And as we call on our team leaderboard you can see he's up to 35 now on the year. The left handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And as you can tell easily from the splits he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. We're in the second one nothing Mets early on. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off but he swings through the inside pitch anyway and he becomes out number two. Oh I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Standing in now. Didi Gregorius and he takes ball two and it's two and one HR these Mets as they enter play here tonight they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out yeah Matt they've been playing good ball you know yesterday's game a low scoring game but still came off with the victory so they're looking for the sweep in this little team and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side the Yanks leave one they're down one nothing. Stepping into the box, Rene Rivera on the season. He's hitting just over 290 coming into action here. And now pitch on the way. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Digging in, Gavin Cicchini, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Nobody out, runner on first. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. All right, here's how the Yanks line up defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. I'm looking down there shortstop at D.D. Gregorius. I love how this guy defends. You know, coming to New York and replacing Derek Jeter, that's a lot of pressure. But I knew he could handle it when I had a conversation with Brandon Phillips, and he told me he's got the best hands he played with when he was with the Reds. In now, Jacob DeGrom. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready for another chance. Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gardner is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. 
Chase Headley will be the one to start us off when we return. It's the Mets one and the Yankees nothing. Here's Chase Headley. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Here's the one and one pitch. That's and he misses two and one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is Having gone nine. to start the third. The pitcher, number 19. Now at the plate, Masahiro, Masahiro Tanaka. Tanaka. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Here he comes again, one, two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now batting, center fielder. Jacoby Here's the center fielder, Elsberry. Jacoby Ellsbury. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. Slap hard the opposite way. Well, that's a line drive to left field on a ball that was right down the middle. I know it's early in the game, the and sometimes well, hitters will tell you what a pitcher right. has. If he doesn't Gardner. start to put that ball in the corners, it's going to be a short game for him. Stepping in now, Brett Gardner. Hot shot to third. There to get it is right. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They still trail 1-0. Trying to pick things up where we left off as Drupal Cabrera. He'll be the one to lead off against Masahira Tanaka. Yeah. Mm, he's going to make him throw him something here. Three and two now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And that misses two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. The 2 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. To second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Here's your one assessment. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets go down quickly, but they're up one to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 and 1 on its way. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. Ready on 3 and 1, here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. 
throws him with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both guys have been coming with some low to mid 90s heat here. 96 versus 93 as the top two speeds thus far. Riding in once again, Chris Carter comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2 and 2 now. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks that were just in the middle innings of this one? If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Digging in for his second at bat, Starlin Castro. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. It's the Mets one, and the Yankees nothing. Now at the plate, Curtis Granderson will open the inning here for the Mets, with David Wright following on deck. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The one and two pitch. Back up the middle. Gregorius is there. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Well that wasn't a very good pitch to hit but there's a lot of hits up the middle dropped the bad head on it stayed with it and just took it back up the Rene Rivera. Into the box now. Rene Rivera. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Wright is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And Wright is safe at the plate as he's in ahead of the tag. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box, Gavin Cicchini. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Well, this is starting to feel like a make-or-break moment in this game. When you're playing a first-place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Trying to send him packing for the second time. On the ground to third. There to take it is Headley. Throw gets him two down. At the plate, Jacob DeGrom. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Slider up that he gets a call on. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Castro has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. We played four. It's now 2 nothing, New York. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Back up the middle. 
And Reyes can't flag it down. It's in the center of base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like you did right here. Nice job. Standing in now, Didi Gregorius. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, I like that Not approach batting. right there. Hard ground ball to right field. Chase. And come to the plate, Headley. you see the guy holding the runner at first and the second baseman double play depth. You create a hole right there and you try to shoot the ball right through it. Great execution. In now, Chase Headley. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Into the box now, Masahiro Tanaka. Now a bunt attempt here to Cabrera for one. On to first, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Up next for the Yankees. Center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby, Jacoby Ellsbury. Ellsbury. He's one for two in the ball game. The one-one pitch. A little bit outside. Two and one. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Oh, that's one he's gonna want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Cicchini is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Fair to say. Oh my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Liner toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. And he misses ball four. With the plate, On Michael Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the Michael ball game. Conforto. Hits are now even at four apiece. <laughs> Called strike over the outside corner. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Hit hard. But this will be a foul ball. All right, Michael. Ready with another 2-2. Two, two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And there he goes towards second. And a step off. The tag by Castro, and he's out at second base. Tanaka's ready with the payoff pitch. 
And this is fouled at the plate. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. See the speedy Brett Gardner start things out when we come back. It's the Mets, two, and the Yankees, nothing. Here's Brett Gardner now. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. A high fastball is in there. Hit on the ground toward the left. Wright's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting, catcher. Digging Gary. in to try it again, Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Steve no out. contact there, and it's 1 and 2. two and now pitch on the way. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. So it was a strikeout swinging. Gary Sanchez sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Standing in now, Chris Carter. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And another foul ball. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. Left field and deep. Conforto ranging back. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Mets are out on top. Two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joanna Cespedes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Nope. Splitter. Two and two. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location Better to get outs. That's three. been the case for him today, and Perfect. it's really working. Granderson. It is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Well, they put the shift on him, overloading the right side, but they pitch him away, and he shoots the ball that way and picks up a base hit to left field. I don't know why guys don't do that more often. Stepping in now, David Wright. Line to the right side. And that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Wow, wow. nice piece of hitting. The ball's on the outside right half. He stayed with it and just shot it to right field. Beautiful. Here comes Yankee manager Joe Girardi on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no Your shot to win the decision. Now Adam Warren is on now out of the Number bullpen 43. as he'll make his 70th Adam appearance Warren. so far this year. Now a pickoff play at second. Don't want to forget about him. Into the box now. Rene Rivera. 
And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Headley onto the grass. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. First baseman, number two. Riding in once again, Gavin, Gavin Cicchini. Cicchini. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Ready for another chance? Jacob DeGrom. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. He'll try again, one, two. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets four, and the Yankees nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Starlin Castro. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Branderson is under it. One away. So he's now still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And Great. with that in mind, Burn. we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Ready for another shot now. Greg Bird, a hit in two tries so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No Kelly, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch on 2 and 1. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Oh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 2 2. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Well, that's a slider breaking in right there. And if it's not in on your hands, that's a dangerous pitch. He got lucky that ball didn't go further. D.D. Gregorio. Into the box, Didi Gregorius. Swing, high drive, deep down the left field line. This ball is slicing, and that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. No runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout, that's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. Digging in once again, Chase Headley. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. One and two now. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. Yanks leave one. They're down four nothing. And Joe Girardi is going to get up off the dugout bench and confer at home plate. So we'll likely see a double switch here. 
Brian Mitchell plate. will come on now Please and he'll slide into the seven spot in the now lineup following the double switch. Ruben Tejada will also Brian come on now as he'll Mitchell. move into the pitcher's now number nine hold in the order the here on that double switch. Ruben Tejada. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Two ball, one strike. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Ball three. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Ray is awaiting the three one. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. As Grubel Cabrera will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Carter is after it. And that's the second out of the inning. The left fielder, number so digging in now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Oh. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Looking up is Ellsbury. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Mets have got it up to a 5-0 game now. And you could see he just made a mistake. He was cruising in the seventh, getting the first two outs, but then he offered up one that caught a little bit too much of the plate. This one got up and out of here, ruining what looked like a good appearance out of the bullpen. In now, Joanna Cespedes. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two out hit. Hey, sometimes you gotta just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and just found a hole. Standing in now. Curtis Granderson and this pitch misses for ball four so that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away well it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind he had him three and two but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him two men are on with two men out grounder down the line at third but a foul ball one and two the count now. Get a big hit. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Little dribbler down the line. But that one rolls foul. The 2 2 one more time. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The runner scores from second. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some echoes from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it.
Into the box now, Rene Rivera. And there's ball two now. Wow, the first six innings, this guy was sharp. Seventh inning hasn't been the case so far. He needs to refocus again. Swing and a liner. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and two men left stranded. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Mets lead it six to nothing. Stepping in, Ruben Tejada. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Yeah, but he has been so good. You're talking about getting into the eighth inning with 100 pitches. Not many guys do that. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. All even at two and two. Here it is. Went up and out of the zone that time, but he gets a piece of it, and he'll see another pitch. Oh, man, I think he thought he's going to get another breaking ball right there. He's a little bit late on that fastball. That's a nice pitch, though, following that breaking pitch to keep him off balance with the heater. Hey, one of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Cespedes is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Well, these fans have been traded to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right hand side of your screen. Ready once again Jacoby Ellsbury He's working on a one for three thus far. One out nobody on. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third but he gets by the glove down the line. That's the sixth hit of the night. They haven't hit a lot of balls hard. That's why that one stood out. That was one of the first ones that really they squared up all night off of him. Here's Brett Gardner now. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. 2-1, here it is. Swing and a line drive. Runner at first here, one man out. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher, like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Drilled on the ground to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. This one pretty well in the bag. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the Mets six, and the Yankees nothing. Now at the plate, Gavin Cicchini coming off the clutch two run single his last time up. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Drilled to the left side. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. So coming to the plate Jacob DeGrom he's been great on the mound so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah that when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down on to first by Headley and there's out number one. Riding in, Jose Reyes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Runner 
at second here with one man out. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Bird is over now and he's got it for route number two. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Weak roller right side. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. We played eight full. It's the Mets six. Here's Chris Carter now. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands the in this one. number 14. Second baseman. Ready now. Starling, Starling Castro. Castro. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. Three and two. Uh oh, he got the big fella out front on that one. This guy's got a lot of power. So he pulled the string on him knowing if he got a 3-1 fastball, we're probably going to watch him jog around the bases. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get over the wall for a ground rule double. And that'll keep runners at second and third now with still nobody out. Just a great approach at the plate right here. This pitch is on the outer half, and he just goes with it. And he has enough to bounce it over the wall and cruise into second with a ground rule double. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the You're effort despite the odds. Now yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Fernando Salas comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a line drive. But this will be foul. Oh, that looked like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. Line drive to left. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. In to score, the runner from third. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. That's actually a pretty good pitch. Gets it inside. The, and the batter just is really strong. Lyman Fought it off Mitchell. and just flipped it in the outfield the other way. Matt Holliday will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Matt Holliday. Inside corner called a strike one and two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Again, a one two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate. And the count holds it two and two. The two two one more time. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. In there, a base hit. Well, that base hit inches them a little bit closer. Now they've got two runners on. For the you get one more guy on. Third You're down basement. four. You're looking Chase for that grand slam Hedlund. to tie. The next guy gets on. It sets up for that big granny opportunity. In now, Chase Headley. 
He pulls this one into right. Cespedes with the catch. Runner tags from third. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a 6-3 contest. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Digging in for his second at bat, Ruben Tejada. His career numbers against this pitcher, one for five. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. The one and two pitch. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw will be the first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. A line drive over the head of Cabrera and on into left center for a base hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. At the plate, Brett Gardner looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. A.J. Ramos gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. And that's what he gets paid to do, shutting them down for another save. That's an even hundred for his career. So congrats are in order. I'm sure he's going to tuck that ball away and put it in his trophy room. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Jacob DeGrom hangs win number 11 on his line, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersen. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, 11 hits, one error. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4.